I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. Today's video is for the sneaky folk out there, the rogues, the thieves, or anyone who creeps around in the shadows to make their coins. Now, a lot of us, you know, we're stuck wearing just plain clothing, but if you want to armor up, you know that when you armor up, you're sacrificing speed and silence for that protection. But there's a way to get all of that. And uh, I want to show you sort of my solution on how to quiet down your armor to still be able to be sneaky and do what you need to do in the shadows. Now, if you've watched my other videos, you'll recall I did an unboxing video recently where I bought these tassets. Uh, now, these tassets are, you know, pickle barrel with uh, leather straps on. Uh, you know, clearly not period authentic or anything, but <clears throat> they're good for fighting like SCA. They meet their requirements and uh, they're also a lot cheaper than buying the metal ones and they certainly weigh a lot less. Uh, so the only problem with these is just like if I bought metal ones is that they're quite noisy when you're walking around. Now even if you're sneaking around it doesn't take much for these things to start making noise. And I knew right away that that was going to be a problem. So I set out to find a solution. And my solution is this. 30 cent craft foam. So this sheet's like 30 cents and it'll fix your problem for you. And here's how you're going to do it. It's very easy. All you need to do is just line the back of your plates. Now whether this is metal plastic or whatever you're using if it bangs around and makes noise just a little foam on the back will deaden that sound now if you're playing a period specific game or if you have metal armor and you want to keep it more real use leather because uh, leather is going to have the same type of effect it's just you know you have to keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't get moldy or do weird things on you and uh, if you're going to do it that way instead of gluing it I would suggest probably just putting you know, a ribbon on each end and just have a strap of leather run across. Now, when you put the foam on there, there's a big difference in the amount of sound that it makes. The tone's different, uh, it's quieter, just it's completely different. And let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So, when I'm talking about the one that I didn't alter, It's noisy, it sounds like plastic banging together. Now the one that I did alter, it's not nearly as noisy, and it sounds like a more natural sound. It could almost be a couple branches banging together, distant uh, horse hooves, you know, you name it. But it's a different sound and it's much quieter. So imagine you're running, but you're still trying to be quiet. versus much quieter. If you're sneaking around and someone hears, could be anything. So, it's the way I did an armor. One other suggestion is that if you don't want a lot of this banging around, you may be able to attach a small piece of twine or string and attach it to the back of this plate so that it only moves a little bit or maybe even not at all as opposed to being able to flap around uh, you'll have to make that decision though because if you do that it's going to be visible from the front because some glue on the back may not hold it you'll probably have to drill through i will probably do that on mine to keep it quieter uh, in the end but for right now i think this is going to work for me and it was very simple you just take the tacit Put the foam on it, use it as your template, exacto knife around, decide how wide you need it to be. Width is decided by how much the overlap is. And then that's pretty much it. Cut it out, glue it on. Just make sure you pick a glue that works on plastic and foam. Or if you have steel, make sure you pick a glue that works on steel and foam or leather or whatever you're using. Uh, if you're using leather on steel and you want to do the rivet idea, I think that would probably be the best way to go because uh, it would look most authentic. Uh, you know, or find another way to attach it that is authentic. And um, as far as your armor, if you're wearing a full suit and not just bits and pieces, find any place where things bang around, pauldrons bang into, uh, you know, 
breastplates or whatever, any place where anything hits or rubs, see how much sound it makes. Get the foam out, even if you're just putting a corner on there, stick it in there, glue it on, quiet down that armor. Uh, if it's a place where things are rubbing, then you may want to consider using leather or something different because this foam could bind up uh, and it certainly won't last as long. But you'll have to make the call on that. But, um, you know, like I said, if you're used to sneaking around, you know the importance of being quiet and you definitely want to take a look at this stuff. So get all your kit on, do some sneaking, see how noisy you really are, find out where the noise is coming from and eliminate it. Now later, I may do a video on uh, getting the squeaks and creaks out of leather armor, but for right now I wanted to address the plate because this is much easier to handle and this is something that you could do in a few minutes uh, with less than a dollar and quiet yourself up you know, right before your next game. And I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, please click like, please subscribe, click the little bell icon if you'd like to know when my next videos are coming out. But I do a video weekly, so as long as you're checking back, you know, every weekend, you'll find my new video. And uh, as always, adventure on. That's my goodbye orc song.